Hi, I'm Blake Ashford. I'm a screenwriter and I was the lead writer on Mystery Road, uh, season two. We're going to watch a short sequence of scenes. Um, this is from episode two uh, called The Flare. Scene breakdowns are things that people rarely uh, discuss, but they're like a plan for what you're going to, what you're going to write in the episode. In a film, they might call it a treatment. Season one, for me, felt like it was all about light, the glare of light onto a place that would re reveal its secrets. Season two was always thought of as being about darkness. So in a noir, which is what this is, it's about shadow, it's about light, and it's about dark. So the sequence that I've chosen has the elements of light and the elements of dark in it. Um, and we, I can talk those through when we, when we get to it. So this is Tazia Zalar. She's just received a phone call from her new boyfriend, who she thought was a certain kind of man, and she's just discovering he might not be who she thinks he is, and it's quite distressing. In the way that I wrote the scene, I just actually had her walking up to a car that was already stopped. But I think that's just a failure of my visual imagination sometimes because I'm just seeing the, the moment, whereas Warwick Thornton and Wayne Blair are creating suspense. You know, we, we get to see this ominous car shooting up smoke, which will become an important kind of visual in the scene. And we have Tazia waiting, 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 which is just a much better way of the scene um, transpiring and this episode is called The Flare and initially it came from a story that one of our writers Dan Stanley told about how drug dealers would shoot a flare in the air in the country town he grew up. I wrote that in the first draft. We didn't end up using that as, a, as an idea but I couldn't stop thinking about the flare. It's distress, it's a message, it's all those sorts of things. So this is the flare. So instead of using it to shoot up, we decided to fire it into a car. What I found interesting re-watching this sequence is, is there's sort of like a, there's a midpoint between light and darkness. And that's like smoke, isn't it? That's like confusion uh, for the character Siobhan. That's what's happening in her story now. She goes from a place where she thinks she knows things um, and then she's suddenly thrown into this confused state. And we've done that sort of through the, you know, just through the vocabulary of the light and dark in this, in this sequence. So this is a scene that's like a classic uncovering the mystery clue kind of scene. It takes place in a church. The church has a very mixed uh, reputation and history in Aboriginal communities. Frequently in cinema, characters go to a church for uh, light or grace or forgiveness. And Stephen McGregor and, and Cody Bedford wanted us to remind uh, our audience that the church for many people has been a place of darkness as well. So when you offer that to filmmakers as strong as Warwick Thornton and Wayne Blair, then they do this, which is outside the church is light and inside the church is actually the dark place. This scene was initially written to have Jay Swan. Jay Swan, who's Aaron Patterson, could not be in this scene as he is written in here, but he does feature in a pivotal way. That's our constable Fran, who's sort of like the co-lead, uh, played by Jada Alberts. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. This is like the best bits of writing where you just, where you get out of the way, where I don't think I really wrote anything at all. Sometimes they call it breath, sometimes they call it white space, which is like you leave enough space there for other people to uh, do the thing that they're terrific at. So she's come out of the dark and it's like either, it's like the end of the day, but she calls Jay 
So we get to have Jay in the scene. Because of this sort of problem of choreography where we couldn't put the characters in action, it's actually we've dramatised that situation where at her deepest, darkest moment, she has called him, not her immediate boss, who is in the scene. And you just see her break in this, in this moment and it's just, um, it's just heartbreaking. I hope you found that uh, interesting. Um, Mystery Road season one and two are still on iview and um, Mystery Road season three should be coming out soon. Uh, thanks a lot.